Hi everyone, I am Gianluca Paolocci and today I'm going to present the work called Design and Comparison of Haptic Policies for Human Guidance. In this work, we compared two approaches to deliver information using haptics applied to the topic of human guidance. The first approach is motion guidance that consists in displaying haptic patterns to indicate instructions about movements. In a second approach, called sensor augmentation, haptic stimuli are delivered to render environmental parameters relevant for the task under execution and otherwise unknown. Three haptic policies have been designed based on the two approaches and tested in an object carrying task where two people were asked to move a bulky object along a path indicated through the haptics. Other means of communications were neglected. The haptic interface is a haptic belt equipped with four vibromotors placed at the cardinal directions. Two of the three haptic policies are based on the motion guidance approach, but differ for the walking model adopted. The policy called autonomic motion guidance commands the users to walk while maintaining a fixed orientation of the formation. The users are instructed to translate inside the workspace without performing rotations. The non-autonomic motion guidance instead commands the users to rotate until the formation is heading toward the target location. Then, they are instructed to walk in a forward direction. The sensor augmentation approach exploits the human capability of planning actions and integrating external stimuli to accomplish an objective. Tactile stimuli communicate to the formation the direction to the target. The users then leverage the enhanced knowledge to reach the target. The subjects were enrolled for the experimental procedure. Each couple of participants performed 12 trials, that is, for different trajectories per three haptic policies. We measured the time to reach the goal, smoothness of the walk and trajectories, and subjective evaluations through a questionnaire on usability and comfort. The efficiency of each haptic policy was assessed by means of trial completion time. Participants completed the trial significantly faster in sensor augmentation and holonomic condition with respect to non-holonomic condition. The smoothness of the walk trajectories was calculated as the average variation of the angular velocity with respect to the vertical axis during point-to-point -point motions. Lowest variance was measured for the sensor augmentation condition, accounting for best smoothness of movements. The questionnaire investigated three layers of subjective experience, easy of use, easy of learning, and comfort. Easy of use and easy of learning perceived was higher for sensor augmentation and holonomic condition, while non-holonomic and sensor augmentation were perceived as more comfortable than holonomic condition. Displaying the target direction was fundamental to achieve good performance, supporting the idea of sensory augmentation. Thanks for your attention.